Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wolf here, and in this video, I am going to be discussing round two, video scenario number two. So this is going to be an example where we, I have a positively charged plastic strip touch a neutrally charged pith ball. All right. And let's first just talk about our objects. So we have our, uh, our plastic strip. This is going to be an insulator, right, which means electrons just can't move freely. And it's positively charged, right, which means it just has less electrons compared to protons. So I have these, it's, it's a, it has a charge specifically of positive four, which means that these four protons um, do, uh, in my model don't have an electron paired with them. And since it's an insulator, the charge is localized in one spot right here. All right. Now my conductor, or my pith ball, is a conductor. It's metal. It allows electrons to move freely throughout it. All right. right now it is neutral. There's an equal amount of protons to electrons. Right. Now, in the last video, we talked about electron shifting, which uh, when these two objects come close to one another, um, which absolutely happens. But in this scenario, we're almost saying, okay, what happens once they touch? Right? And so for simplicity's sake, we're just going to keep everything kind of neutral right here. And then we're going to see what happens when they actually touch. All right, so when they touch, right? and again, <clears throat> when they touch, we want to ask the question, where do electrons want to go. Right? And in this case, I have some exposed protons. So the electrons in my object right here are attracted to the exposed protons in my insulating strip. Right? So since they're touching, these electrons actually can move over and jump over to my insulating strip. So I'm going to have some electrons jump over here. Right? Some electrons jump over here as well. Now, electrons are going to jump over until there's essentially about an equal amount of exposed protons. And here I have two exposed protons. Here I have two exposed protons. So electrons really don't want to move either way at this point. All right. So if I separate my objects all right, and I look at my, insulate, at my plastic strip, there are still uh, less protons, or sorry, less electrons compared to protons. Specifically, this one has a charge of positive two, so two exposed protons um, in my model that I have right here. So it still has that positive charge, and it's still an insulator, which means that charge is localized right here. And then my pith ball is now missing electrons because it jumped over to the, uh, the insulating strip, so now my object is negative. Now remember, this is a conductor, so I'm not done with my model just yet. Electrons can move freely through this material, and they're repelled from one another, so they want to spread out as much as possible. All right, so maybe I have this atom right here have a missing electron, and, and this atom right here having a missing electron. So in this case, both of them are positively charged, all right? but in this case, the, char the positive charge is distributed throughout my whole object. Here, my positive charge is localized. All right? So then there's the question, all right, well, after they touch, what's going to happen? Well, if my plastic strip is positive and my pit ball is positive, all right, likes are going to repel. So if I were to bring these close to one another again, they would repel each other. 